folks that just want to throw a couple of hundred to their print on demand printer just to have some copies for the shows. I think you're going to see all that really get crippled because of these price hikes. Yeah. I, I think you're going to see a lot of those guys stop going to conventions too. Now yeah. what I noticed last year is a lot of these conventions aren't comic book geared anymore. They're no, and they're starting to cut their manga, so they're starting to cut their artist alley sections way down and limit it to, to specific, you know, so many tables and turn a lot of the secondary um and, and uh mom and pop printers, individual hobbyists, I guess you would say. They're starting to turn I, them away. I really appreciate Past Master Dan as a uh, a backer, a supporter of independent comic there books. We are. And and I'm like, no, man, no. this is amazing. And so yeah, we're grateful. But it trying to support these creators on their end, mm -hmm. it's there's got to be we've got to be able to do a better way of doing it, right? We completely revitalized uh, or, or reworked the business model for Iron Age distribution when we found out that we're not going to be able to do print on demand because of our printer issues, right? 